I thought for today's video, we would take a look at some of my most used adapters for live sound. Let's start with the Pelican briefcase and take a look. First are these Speak On speaker cable couplers. These that I keep in my Pelican are from Amazon, but I also have these Neutrik brand that I keep in the work box. They all do the same thing. Allow you to extend an NL2 or NL4 speak on speaker cable by connecting two together. A quick way to solve a problem if a speaker cable just isn't long enough. Next up is this 3.5 millimeter tip ring sleeve to RCA cable. Use this for connecting an MP3 player or anything with a headphone output to your mixer. I like having spares just to be prepared. Maybe a guest engineer will need to connect a laptop or their own MP3 player to the system. I also like cables that have a pair of RCAs instead of a pair of quarter inch tip sleeve connections at the end. That way I have options. Then I have these quarter inch tip sleeved RCA adapters. Some mixers will have RCA connections, some will have left and right quarter inch inputs, or sometimes I might even be using an AVDI like this. The 3.5 millimeter tip ring sleeved RCA with some quarter inch tip sleeved RCA adapters gives me options. Next is these, XLR turnarounds. I have several of these in my Pelican case and several more in the work box. These are something that when you need them, you really need them. They fix problems and they create solutions. You can turn around snake lines to send a talkback signal from front of house to a monitor console, or to turn around a couple of lines in a drum subsnake to send a signal to the drummer's in-ear monitors down the same subsnake that you're using for drum lines. You can use them in a pinch to create an extra send or return in a snake if a line has a problem, or to fix a mistake if someone just ran a long cable backwards. Typically, you need both ends, because if you need to turn around one end, you usually need to turn around the other. And that brings us to these adapters. Tip ring sleeve to XLR. I have both quarter inch tip ring sleeve male to XLR male, and tip ring sleeve male to XLR female. Far and away though, the quarter inch tip ring sleeve to XLR male is the version I use the most. The ones I keep in the Pelican case are short, but I also keep some in my XLR case that are much longer. These cables allow me to keep a signal balanced. Even if the output of the device I'm connecting to only has a balanced female tip ring sleeve and not a balanced XLR connector. I want to switch those outputs over to XLR whenever possible. Once it's XLR, I can use XLR cables wherever I need to extend the length. And things stay balanced, which is important to minimize noise pickup. A standard instrument cable, if used here, immediately unbalances the connection. If you have a snake cable with quarter inch tip ring sleeve returns and you use an instrument cable in those, then you will unbalance the entire length of that line. There's also this version of the adapters. These do the same thing, but these add weight onto the jack you're connecting to, and that can sometimes be a problem. This clip from another video shows how a typical balance connection works. A mono balanced output uses three conductors. A shield, a positive signal, and a mirror image of the signal reverse polarity. A mono balanced input then inverts that negative signal back to positive. Any noise picked up by the cable is effectively nulled out by this reversal. And that brings us to this other XLR adapter, the XLR Y adapter. Again, there are both genders available and I tend to use one much more than the other. The single female XLR to two male XLRs is what I use the most. 
you use these to split one output to two inputs, but not to tie two outputs together. For example, a way to send one mic to two different mic channels or to even two different consoles. You could also take a mono feed from a console and send it to both the left and right inputs of a stereo amp rack. I keep several because there can be multiple situations that creep up that can use an XLR split. Besides in my Pelican briefcase, I have them in the workbox and the XLR cable trunk. Well, that was five adapters, but this one gets honorable mention. The only reason it didn't make the list is because I rarely need it, but it's a real problem solver when you do need it. The Sescom IL-19 is great to remove hum in stubborn situations. Whether that is when you connect your mixer to an amp rack, or more likely you connect a band submixer into your system, or connect your own mixer to another provider's console. It can be a real problem solver. Let me know in the comments below what adapters you find essential to have with you for your gigs. I'll put Amazon links in the text below for all of these adapters. Here are some other videos that you might want to check out. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.